Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew. Ooh. Where um, where we're filming the pew. <laughs> <laughs> I am so hungover from last night. I went to Pacha last night to see the Italian DJ Crookers, and uh, it was really fun. It was packed. What and was it? Here's a scene from it. <laughs> Doesn't that look like fun? Sure does. I wish I could have gone. <laughs> you could have gone. I actually could have gone. I, you know, I should have gone. You were probably. entertaining. I, oh, yeah. We won't get into that. <laughs> it was or, a night or, of high or, drama. Or should we? And mm -hmm. tragedy and comedy all in one night for Michael. Tragic comic. Well, for all of us, it was tragic comedy. Right. And I had, a, except for the four hours that I was at the club, actually having fun. <laughs> Ernie, yeah. Ernie got to experience his end of it when he came home. <laughs> and uh, the other club party that I went to, and I'm surprised you didn't come to this, uh, I can't remember what you were doing Tuesday night, but Tobel Von Cartier had a fashion presentation for her line Vaughn at the Acme at the Strut Party, which is done by Derek Todd, and that show was really fun. What was fun. I doing Tuesday night? I don't recall. You weren't home, or I can't remember what you were doing. Because I don't even remember you going. Because you weren't here when I went. You, you, you spent the night at somebody's house, I think. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I missed the fashion show. I just pre foolishly presumed it would be at midnight, and instead it was at 11 p.m., so I totally missed it. Yeah, things are early now. Uh, yeah, I'm still not used to that. Uh, but I like that idea of doing things early. So the, the clothes are really good, as you see from the pictures, and the music The clothes great. are amazing. Oh, my gosh. I was really... I mean, I was really, really surprised. I mean, not not that I wouldn't think that she has talent or anything, but the the, the presentation was so uh, glossy. And well, the presentation was um, created by Sushi and Artie because they have their new fashion company. That oh, what is it? It's called uh, I can't remember what it's called, but they have a new. Mm -hmm. fashion company. <laughs> yeah, and called? plus, they, for years they worked at Patricia Field, right. so they perfected their styling skills. And uh, Artie won the Emmy with Pat Field. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. So. Uh, Tobel's namesake or signature piece are these uh, oh, the breastplates yeah, yeah. that for men and women that I think are made out of vinyl or some kind of hard plastic, but they're fabulous as you can yeah, see. Yeah, they look really fabulous. They look at the, the veils that with the with the polka dots or anything, it's really beautiful. Yeah, I, I saw I I love the eyebrows. Yeah. I got to see the veil. Leo Gugu was wearing one of the veils uh, after the party and it looked great. The on makeup him. seems very I don't know if he did it, but it, it the makeup seemed to me like Leo, Leo's makeup, but I don't know. It could have been a, I don't know. Could've well, been. sorry you missed the party. It was yeah. fab. Well, next time. And uh, so we were talking about uh, Michael's doppelganger. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. there is another Michael Alec. Because I was, I've been getting messages, or not messages, but you know, on the on the right-hand side of your feed for, you, or for YouTube, it'll give you recommended, you know, things. And uh, the, it's sending me things for another Michael Alec or things that with Michael Alec attached to it that I don't remember doing. So I would click on it and it was, it's another Michael Alec. And it makes me wonder what that Michael Alec is getting of mine. Like, <laughs> So we're gonna show you a clip of the other Michael Alec. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the workshop at Little Birdie Hatchery. I'm Mike Ailey, the poultry professor. One of the services we provide here at the hatchery is the building of chicken coops for customers who don't have the time to build one themselves. Um, the know, other Michael Allen. Yeah, and you know what's really funny is that uh, he must be related and probably closer than I think because that is exactly how the Alex are in Indiana. They 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 talk like that. They look like that. They um, they they behave like that. You could lose your mind yes. <laughs> um, when Alex are two of a kind. But they pronounce it Alex. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot of people called you Alec. I know, but it, but it's not right. And and didn't Lahoma call you Alec? Yes. And La yep. didn't Larry T call you Alec? Yeah. Yep. Michael Alec. Yep. Ru uh, Rudolph was the only one who um, who pronounced it actually properly because it also was an Alec. It's Alec. That's how. Right. Well, that's the German pronunciation. Right. Um, but uh, yeah. So um. But I'm not the only one who has a doppelganger. I uh. I there's another uh, another Richie. <laughs> there's Rich another Richie and Rich. Another 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 Ernie Glass. As you can see from the Richie Rich mm -hmm. picture, he uh. That I wonder if that restaurant ever gets fan mail for Heather from Heatherette <laughs> girly <laughs> fans. <laughs> and uh. And I like I, the I other Ernie Glass. I know that he caters. To, yeah, he uh, caters. He sure uh, does. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I love the other Ernie and Glam. And the other Ernie Glam. Oh, Ernie. I mean, you should have him take over for you. You should have him replace you or yeah. something. Uh, you know, uh, be your uh, your stunt double or something. I mean, um, he's... I, where is he from? I don't know. Is he American? Is he in this country? I don't know. He looks... I mean, he's beautiful. Maybe we'll know. Maybe we'll know now that we've done he so looks, You should contact him. He looks like a cross between uh, you and Kyoki uh, from, you know, when you were younger. I wonder um, if he knows who you are. Mm, probably. You think? Well, I would. Yeah, I, I would think. With Ernie Glam. I mean, he must, he must have... Uh, you know. So we were wondering what has the other Michael Alec gotten in the mail because Michael oh. has gotten messages for the other Michael Alec. Oh my God! I can't. I can only. I mean, so people have I probably can sent him. Only like imagine what. Thumb. Yes, I mean, I'm sure he's gotten, you know, mail at least. People probably at least emailed emails. the tubes of urine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, blood feasts, <laughs> trivia, and memorabilia. We, you know, when I was in prison at uh, uh, Peru, um, people were sending me the most outrageous things. Um, you know, uh, uh, lipstick and um, fingernail polish and, you know, glitter fingernail polish, glitter uh, eyelashes. And I'm, I go yeah, because you'll room. need that in Peru. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what and they're thinking, you know, and I go to the package room and the officers are like, did you order glitter nail polish and, and eyelashes? You know, <sighs> anyway. We'll be back. Yep. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew. <laughs> Where we contact the other Michael yeah. Alec. <laughs> we were talking about. Maybe having him, wouldn't it be funny to have him on the pew? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think he'd say no. Do you? Um, if he did a little research, do you think he's proud? Well, I of think it, he would. I say? think he would do. A Didn't research. someone name Alec once write you telling you to not stop using your name because <laughs> it was embarrassing them? Um, yeah, but that but they were my my uncle, my aunts and uncles. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, my sister. Uh, uh, what is it? Half sister. Half sister. Okay. She um, is a was a English teacher, and she um, stopped talking to me because um, she said you that smirched her name. Well, the kids in she teaches eighth grade English, so you can imagine uh, the kids in her class were mocking her, and um, uh, she wanted she thought you know wanted me to tell them to stop using my name in the movie like I could do that. I mean. Stop using my name! Yeah, and my aunts and uncles did the same thing. They asked me and told me, they wrote me and they said, you know, tell them to not use your name in the movie. And I, you know, what are we going to do? Well, you know, Alex spelled backwards is Gila. They could just change Ezra the name. Monster. Yeah. Gila Monster. Gila Monster. Bitches want to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Warren do. Oh boy. And we did not oh. write this question ourselves. No, but Ernie picked it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his code word for, I'm going to show Michael how much better I look than he, than he is. <laughs> not at all. The public wants to be served. It's in the public interest. Mm -hmm. Warren Duke wants to know if there's any chance of us doing a shirtless episode. Uh, there is a chance. There is a chance that we will be struck by a meteor tomorrow. <laughs> yes, a, I think we'll do it. Yeah, we have to work on our summer beach bodies first, though. Ernie works on his summer beach body every single day. He's at the gym at five o'clock in the morning, um, seven days a week, sometimes twice not a day. True. I that think. is absolutely not true. I go like three or four times. A day. Oh, that is so not true. You go at least once a day. No, you I are do not. He goes once a day, he's up at 5 o'clock in the morning, he doesn't even eat breakfast, he just goes straight to the gym. I don't know how he does it, he's not, he's not normal, you know. Well, I've never been normal. N no. <laughs> no, but I mean, you're like, neither have you. No, but you're not even, you're, no, when I say not normal, I mean you're not abnormal like the rest of us. <laughs> you're, you're, you're unnormally normal. Anyway, if I went to the gym seven days a week, I would have a much more ripped body than I do. I mean, I'm pretty skinny. Well, for, 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 for my age. For your age. 
<laughs> Which shall not be mentioned. You are uh, svelte and uh, toned. Toned, I like that. No, actually, you're toned to insult for, you know, somebody half your age. But, um, At any age. But um, that wouldn't happen if you didn't... And I've seen you at the gym, too. You are a dynamo. you like... On the I, sheet, well, like, I don't like to waste time. No. It's like, quick, quick, quick. Get yeah. it over with. Yeah. Like the, like the show. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.